Well, Dan, the third person arrested in this case is 29-year-old Emily Joy Stevens. She was at one time a nurse working in Arizona and is facing six felony counts for crimes against children under the age of 10 and 14. Also today, we learn the Dr. James Kohut will be arraigned tomorrow on multiple charges of sexual offenses against children. This case is raising questions and concerns about how medical professionals are screened before they begin work with patients. Kohut was employed by the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, but performed his surgeries at Dominican Hospital, and nurse Rochelle Brandon also worked at Dominican. Neither institution would answer questions regarding the screening process used when hiring, questions that have arisen after news that Dr. Kohut, now facing charges for multiple crimes against children, had been previously disciplined three times, dating back to 2002. The California Medical Board said once Kohut's probation ended, it was up to the hospital to determine whether to continue to allow him to use their surgery facilities. We asked Dominican Hospital several times about their safety practices. A spokesperson said physicians are not hired by the hospital and with regard to hiring practices of nurses, they cannot comment on personnel matters. We received a similar response from Palo Alto Medical Foundation. We can't do anything more right now than the statement that this is an ongoing investigation. We have to let things play out. Since we broke this disturbing story, many people have voiced concerns on social media and commented on Kohut's past behavior toward other people working at the hospital. I know that there were multiple times he was reported to administration, uh, but it was always kind of just like slap on the hand and business as usual with him. So my issue with Dignity Health is they not only knew of his history when they encouraged him to come to our facility, but they enabled him to carry on with the way he acted. Um, we also asked people on the street whether they felt safe at their local hospital. I'm confident that they're, you know, that they're taking care of us. I don't know. I think it was maybe a fluke thing that happened, and, and I don't want to judge them by just that one incident. And as we told you yesterday, Dr. Kohut was hired as a neurosurgeon at a hospital in Arkansas. We have been working with our Hearst affiliate in Fort Smith, and they say the state medical board there were aware that Dr. Kohut had been on probation, but after interviewing the doctor, they did issue him a medical license in February, but the hospital says he no longer works there and never saw patients. Dan? All right, thank you, Phil. Dr. Kohut is scheduled for arraignment tomorrow morning. He'll face three charges of crimes against children. Meantime, Brandon, the nurse, is not scheduled back in court until May 26th. Also on the Crime Watch tonight, two young men charged in another child sex crime case out of Santa Cruz were arraigned in federal court in San Francisco today. 19-year-old Ryan Spencer and 24-year-old Brian Peterson pleaded not guilty to four felony child pornography charges. Both will return to court on May 23rd. If convicted, they face 25 to 80 years in prison.